which is a non-sanctioned contest in which championship wrestling from Hollywood is not legally liable for any injury which may occur throughout the course of the match. Introducing first, from Detroit, Michigan, weighing 176 pounds, Sherrick 120. Now I know that it was Yuma that demanded having this non-sanctioned match, but does it play into the long, creepy hands of Sherrick 120? I don't even think Tim Burton could understand how disturbing Jared 120 is. This is going to be a dangerous, vicious match for every single person here. His opponent from San Diego, California, weighing 174 oh. pounds. Yuma's not wasting any time, Gally. Oh, Jarek 120 already in the ring, and Yuma right off the bat with a thirst for vengeance. Wow, I have not seen speed from Yuma like this since the Rottenest Monsters. He is ready. Yuma completely unhinged, and rightfully so, sending Jarek 120 over the top rope once again. This is a non-sanctioned match. There are no rules! Considering every disgusting action committed by Jarek 120 has been unsanctioned, it's only fitting that this violent exhibition is unsanctioned. Oh, God, get it away from us. No, no, no. Oh, oh. Jarek 120 driven into the steel steps! The question is, how far will Yuma go to rid everybody of Jarek 120? Yuma looking for some poetic justice through violence looking to decimate Jarek 120 for what he did. Oh no, he's looking for the first weapon of the matchup, something hidden behind this. It's the handcuffs, Johnny! Yeah, there's nothing the referee can do. He's only there to count the three, if he even survives. Of course, those handcuffs are used against Yuma. Well, how, the question is, how many pairs of handcuffs does Jarek 120 have? He could have 19 in his trunks, we don't even know. I mean, what else could be under the ring right now? Never, anything could be a weapon. You never know, this devious magician could have put anything underneath there. And of course, Yuma looking to use anything to his advantage as he handcuffs Jarek 120. He's got nowhere to go. Oh, boy. What's, what's Yuma having? What did he bring with him? Oh, it's the key. It's the key. You know, usually Jarek 120 is psychologically ahead of everybody else, but clearly Yuma has everything well thought out. Now what, what's in the box? What's in the box? It came from Amazon, it could be anything. What did he order? Oh, Johnny, we've seen this before, it's the pipe. Ladies and gentlemen, the Pied Piper is back. The Pied Piper of Vermin making a return here. preferred weapon of Yuma when he was the heritage champion now absolutely punishing Jarek 120 you know you gotta wonder though Jarek was the master of this gang of creepy clowns are they underneath the ring are they up in the stands are they just some sort of spirit manifestation that could come by any oh no Johnny what are you asking me for you think I talked to those goons I have no idea they could be under the ring they could be outside they could be sitting behind us, oh, under the I, table, I don't know. Oh! Punishing them with those cookie sheets. Oh, it is not time to make cinnamon rolls or ginger snaps. Oh! It is not going to be a happy holidays for Jared 120. You know, you gotta remember Yuma fighting for his son and his wife. This all started at the red carpet rumble when Yuma eliminated Jarek 120. And then Jarek 120 went on a tirade, stalking Yuma, stalking his wife, stalking his kids. And now, look at Jarek 120 trying to get out of the handcuffs as Yuma's just tossing in one steel chair after the other. I guess Jarek uh -oh. 120 was hiding the key in his mouth. Ugh. Now he's, he's trying to get it. Oh, it's not even a key. Did he get lead poison? Oh, he's Some got Some sort of way just to separate the spokes. Did he have a nail in his mouth? Ugh. Either way, gross. But now, playing possum, he's still holding on to the bottom turnbuckle. 
You must still think that Jarek 120 is hung up, that he's stuck on the handcuffs. Look, I give Yuma credit for the psychological warfare, but Jarek 120 figured it out. No, no, no. Oh, God! Head first. Yuma didn't even get a chance to defend himself. And you got to remember, Yuma was hung upside down after getting a concussion, all the blood rushing to his head for several hours. Yeah, I Irreversible know. damage. Look, I know that. I know how much damage could be done to him. He could have had respiratory failure, could have had a stroke. He guaranteed was concussed. Oh my God, he might be out already. Nothing that referee Nick Bonanno can do here. Do you see the bend, the, the crack in that chair? The dent made by the skull of Yuma. Oh no. Oh, huge backbreaker. Oh, and now Yuma, he's bleeding. Oh, God. You know, I understand why Yuma wanted this, but he he's really should have. He's given fighting this a for his thought. family. Yeah, he's I know that, Joe, kid. but he should have given this a second thought. He wants to live, doesn't he? Sometimes you got to chalk it up as a loss and realize the man's defeated you. And Jarek 120's done that. Now he's going to take him out for good. Jarek 120 mocking Yuma. Put in the pipe. Oh no, back to this weapon of choice. The handcuffs that he's used so many times to knock so many people unconscious, including Yuma. Oh wow, you see the crimson mask on Yuma already. And now he's digging in with those handcuffs. Oh, choking the life out of Yuma. Right by the ropes, but there's nothing the referee can do. This is our main event, non-sanctioned match. We have to take a break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to our main event, the non-sanctioned match, and Yuma has just been the victim of complete and total punishment from Jarek 120 during the commercial break. Well, Yuma had the early advantage, but Jarek 120, his whole life is unsanctioned. You don't think this, this plays to his strengths? I mean, oh wow. What Yuma. a counter, what a counter from Yuma, head off the steel chair. A veteran maneuver now, former Heritage Champion. Oh, Yuma with the back right to the steel chair! You can see how much it's bent, his body weight bending the steel! The most dangerous senton we've ever seen. I mean, look, I understand that Yuma is trying to channel his inner vermin. I mean, there's no, there's no telling what Jarek 120 is capable of. The brutality of this match is unmatched by anything that we've seen previously inside this ring, inside the Ocean View Pavilion. I mean, we thought Yuma being suspended upside down in a straitjacket was the most dangerous Jarek 120 has been, but that could all be an appetizer for what we're about to see in this match, Gally. It's a main course that I don't think Yuma wants to have for sure oh, for no. Christmas dinner. Joe, those chairs are lined up right behind them. No, no, no. Yuma doing everything he can to fight out of the superplex. Yuma needs to fight out of this, and he does. Thank goodness, Yuma just collapsing into the ring. Oh no. Steel chair right to the midsection. Don't forget, Yuma was the one that threw these chairs in the ring in the first place. This is a car wreck. This is a demolition derby. This isn't even a fight anymore. This is completely different. If there is one weapon that suits Yuma, it is the steel chair. Don't forget, he used the steel chair to ruin Jarek's birthday celebration. He's gonna ruin his ribs oh! right there! Oh! Dropping the steel chair onto the one on top of Jarek 120, driving the steel into his chest, into his face, into his mouth! Well, they are now even in concussions, it looks like. Oh no! Yuma could have had it 
one. He's not done. This match isn't about victory. It's about so much more. It's about punishment. It's about putting Jarek 120 in his place for messing with Yuma's family, messing with his wife, messing with his young son. It's about putting him out once and for all. This is beyond personal. Yuma's not even thinking about titles. He's not thinking about his history here. He's not even thinking about his career. He's doing whatever possible to rid all of us of Jarek 120. Wait, Jarek's fighting out of these chairs here. Oh, dear God! Just chucking a steel chair, colliding with the skull of Yuma. He's, he's seeing stars. Oh, no! Oh! That's the second vicious headshot to a steel chair Yuma's had in this match. Oh, and Yuma barely able to get the shoulder up. Keep in mind, oh. the referee is only there to do the three count or call for the bell for a submission. That's his only job in this non-sanctioned matchup. That's right, otherwise his hands are tied. Oh! Anything goes. Oh no. What could Yuma possibly have in mind here? What? Oh no. Yuma don't do this. No, 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 no. Oh, went for the DDT, but Jarek able to counter, sending Yuma back into the ring over the top rope. Question is, what is going to be the breaking point for either one of these? Oh! Yuma saw the springboard, just chucked the steel chair right at Jarek, nailing him in the face. Turnabout is fair play. Jarek wants to toss a chair at Yuma's head. Well, he'll do the same thing. We both these men have seen the most amount of punishment I've ever seen anyone take in this ring at this point. Look, we've had a lot of insane, bloody matches here over the history of championship wrestling from Hollywood, and this one certainly ranks right up there. Is he going for the sex factor? Oh, but Jarek 120 able to hold on to the ropes. Wait, it looks like Jarek's also busted. Brain Buster! Oh, but Yuma able to get to his feet. Look at this. Oh, walk off. He's starting to hit him with all of Vermin's moves. There it is. Perfect circle! What the hell is he doing? Hooks the leg! He's got him! Oh. oh! You talk about psychological warfare, he's using every single finishing move from what used to be the members of Vermin. Still hasn't done the sex factor. He's putting up the V! What's he gonna try and do now? Oh, no he's not. Not to fade to black, are you kidding? That's bad dude, Tito's finishing maneuver. Oh, but Yuma saw it coming, able to land on his feet. Wait a minute. Joe, we're looking like we're about to have a rat trap in the middle of the ring. Furman's back, baby. He's got it. In a bad way for Jarek, for sure. The rat trap is locked in deep. It's locked in tight. Jarek 120's got nowhere to go. I never thought I'd be happy to see the head rat back, but this is a situation where it's absolutely necessary. He's got that locked in. You gotta channel your darkest, deepest, most devious parts of yourself in a match like this. And Jarek 120 able to escape to the outside. If he was just able to reach out to the ropes, normally would have to be break the hold, but not in this matchup. Well, but Jarek was able to slither away, catch a much needed break outside the ring. Hold on, he's he's got that cookie shit. Oh! oh! The amount of impact echoing all the way down the Sunset Strip. Just like that, Jarek 120. Oh, no. What the hell? Oh, no. You know what's in a bag like that, Johnny. You know what's exactly in a bag like that. How many thousands of thumbtacks could he possibly that, have in that bag? That looks like so many. Huh. What is. Uh, why is he. Oh! Legos! Legos? What? Legos have been introduced in this matchup. Does Yuma's kid know that his toys are gone? Legos now in the far corner now. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, but he plants Jarek 120 onto the Legos. Onto his son's Legos. But the damage was also done to Yuma. We, we got to take a break. This is our main event. We'll be right back. Oh, into the cover! Oh, and Jarek 120 able to kick out. Whoa, 
welcome back to the action. While we were at break, Yuma delivered the sex factor, and Sherrick 120 was able to kick out. I can't believe it. I don't know how he was, but that's why you have to be here at the Ocean View Pavilion. You don't miss a single second. You gotta follow us on Twitter at CWF Hollywood to see every single second. And meanwhile, Yuma finally has control here. Just Legos thrown all over the ring. I don't know what Yuma has in mind here, just stacking up these steel chairs. I have no idea. At this point, I mean, all bets are off when you have Legos in a bag. I mean, really? Oh, yeah. I mean, have you ever stepped on a Lego? You know, walk into the bathroom at night? I mean, that'll wake you up in a hurry. Well, I'm an adult. I don't live with Legos, Joe, but I imagine you have. That nieces and nephews. Sure. Oh, boy. Speaking of family, that's what it's all about for Yuma right now, for his family, for his pride. What is he trying to do here? Four steel chairs stacked up. He's looking for a German suplex off the top rope. Jarek 120 with a thumb right in the eye. Oh, no. Much to the displeasure of the Look at that, he's out right here. Putting his weight right on the leg. And Yuma, oh, oh. The leg drop right across the bridge of the nose. Yuma, Yuma is just in the most dangerous tree of woe ever. Yuma's completely stuck. He's stuck and he's out. Oh, finally able to, to fall out of that position, but the damage is done. That was an enormous amount of impact. And Jarek 120's not done yet. Look at the glazed eyes of Yuma. He's on Dream Street, Jarek 120 is about to end the career and life of Yuma. Oh, no, no, no. What could Jarek 120 possibly... Oh, there's oh, no, no way. Get out of here right no, now. No, no, no. Oh, from the Pacific oh! to the Atlantic, it's coast to coast! Dear God. Clear across the ring, springboard dropkick, driving the steel into the skull of Yuma, it's gotta be over! And Yuma stays in the fight! How in the hell did he kick out of that? Yuma Nadi says he's still able to fight. He's still able to continue. The Ocean View Pavilion will never be the same if this match ever ends. I... Oh, this is hard to watch. The amount of damage to Yuma's skulls. This, this is gonna take, this could end his career. It's at least taking years off of it, that's for sure. I mean, that's, that's just what you have to do. Sometimes you have to put everything on the line for your family. Now, Jarek 120 directing traffic, telling members of the Ocean View Pavilion, fans to move out of the way. I think he wants to do a superplex into the chairs. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, this, this is deadly. This is potentially deadly, Jarek. Look, I understand Yuma wants to fight for his family. Sometimes you gotta say, you know what? I'll walk away. Maybe he should have walked away from championship wrestling. And Yuma with a big low blow. You gotta do anything you can in this situation. Oh no. What's, what's Yuma trying to do now? Dear God. Oh no, no, no. Oh! Onto the steel chairs! Samoan drop off the top rope! And Jarek, leg spasming, nerve damage, cracked ribs, cracked vertebrae, God knows what else. Well, Yuma clearly can't even feel his right arm. He also took the brunt of it. The question is, can he roll over and even attempt for a pin here? If Yuma could just roll over, he just needs to make it one and a half more feet. He could win this matchup. Bloody, bruised, battered Yuma. Joe, I've been here since day one. I've never seen a match like this. There's a good reason that it's unsanctioned. Yuma finally with the cover isn't enough. And oh. Sherrick 120 able to get the shoulder up. Oh, come on. How is this match gonna end? This is insane. I mean, it, Joe, I don't even think I wanna see how this is gonna end. I'm, I'm close to walking away. This is difficult to see. Oh, it's a train wreck, for sure, and now Yuma. I mean, no rules whatsoever, Galley. It doesn't matter how it ends, where it ends, when it ends. I mean, there, 
no one's liable here. They can do whatever oh, no, they want this. to each other. Derek 120, he's got his hands on the handcuffs oh, again. Oh, dear God. But now Yuma with the weapon of his own, he's got the, he's got the pipe. Who will strike first? Jarek 120, oh! He eats a face full of pipe! The Pied Piper gets him first! Two! Oh, no, no way! No way! That swing with that pipe was right on, 100%. Into the face of Jarek 120. How did he possibly kick out? For the love of God, somebody just stay down. Crowds on their feet. Now, you just got the handcuffs again. What is he? Oh no, he's gonna try and lock those handcuffs behind his back. And, and Jarek's completely out. I mean, he's tying him up just like Jarek 120 tied him up to hang him upside down. Somehow Yuma still has enough brain cells left after the damage that's been done. Almost poetic justice. But that'll stop you from being able to kick out for sure. What's he possibly gonna try here? I mean, Jarek realizes now his hands are tied behind his back. Look at the stare. And Jarek 120 almost seems like he's okay with it. Oh! Defiant. To the end. Sex Factor spikes his head right off the canvas. Hands tied behind his back, too. Three, Yuma finally ends it. New winner, Yuma. Yuma victorious in this incredibly brutal, non-sanctioned match. You gotta take a look at a replay brought to you appropriately enough by the Dark Art Emporium in Long Beach. I mean, there were so many opportunities for either of these men could have won the match. Let's start with that huge Samoan drop. I mean, off the off. top into the chair. That's right, the Samoan drop onto a stack of four chairs. I mean, this match could be showing at the Dark Art Emporium on a loop. That's how dark and devious and destructive it was. Yuma finally gets the advantage and he handcuffs Jared 120's hands behind his back. Oh, just Jared 120 spitting in his face and hitting the sex factor, spiking his head off the canvas. And Yuma finally defends his family, defends his life. And he ends this war between him and Jarek 120. Finally able to get the retribution he so desperately wanted, so desperately needed against the devious Jarek 120. Well, Joe Galley, Jarek 120 just learned that when you try to take away a man's career and his well-being and you don't get the job done, it will come back to haunt you tenfold. That's certainly true. This has been one of the most hardcore main events I have ever seen here at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. I am, I am exhausted.